What up? I got nice skin here with me. This ain't a diss song. But, um, yeah, uh huh, you know what it is. I'm a cheese head, y'all niggas cheese whiz. Pittsburgh Steelers, that's nothing. That Super Bowl ring, that's nothing. Pull up in your town when you yeah. see me. Get out from that third down, though. Got a chance to have some fun in the first half. He gonna answer the second half. <laughs> yeah, when we just knew coming into this week after you know our performance against you know Philly, that was unacceptable, and that wasn't who this defense was. That right. wasn't a true identity of this defense. So we knew yeah. coming to this week, man, we had to be assignment sound. We had to make sure we was gap sound in the run game, and we execute, and we don't do nothing that was gonna hurt the team on the defense. Yeah. Did you guys feel not maybe the pressure, but just the desire to get the win, and not wanting to get in a skid with back-to-back -back losses? Most definitely. I think someone has said something about our defense and, and our leadership, and that really hit home. Yeah, said so we didn't us. have no leadership up front. Yeah, but as you can see, you know, we're going to keep doing what we have to do to uh, help this team and this defense, and we're going to keep going. We're 4-1 now, so we're going to enjoy this win and, and prepare for uh, Monday Night Football, right? Yeah, Monday Night Football. I, I think it was after Kevin's interception, but they showed you a little, little jarring with Jack Dak. What did you have to say to him? They showed that on TV? They did. <laughs> well, nah. Was camera time. Yeah. Well, nah, I was like, what's up, man? You good? He's like, get out of my face. I said, man, I almost went to Mississippi State. But it was a joke, so I was just happy at the time. And, you know, P was his teammate. So to get that uh, little talk at the end uh, after that interception was yeah. big. How, how tough is it, though, to kind of get your bearings back if it hits you with three scoring drives in a minute each or less? You know, we had to. Uh, Go to the sideline and talk about it. That's one thing that we did uh, as far as being leaders. That's what we have to do. Yeah. You know, we went to the sideline and told guys just to calm down, man. Let's let's just be us and let's do what we do best. And uh, as you can see, we came out with the dub. Yeah, we're not known for breaking apart and, you know, in a tough situation regardless of what happens. Somebody give up a touchdown, somebody get out there gap. Hey, we come yeah. together and we make we improve on that. We make sure it don't happen twice, it don't happen again, or it's not a consistent thing. We go out there and execute each time we hit the field, you know, like it's a new opportunity. Okay. You guys made the comment after the Eagles game that you let the offense down, but what is this team capable of when the defense does their part and the offense does their part? Because there are moments where you can see that today. Greatness. 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 Yes, I totally agree. If we do that on each side of the ball, as far as an offense, defense, and special team, we could be a dominant group. Yeah, the thing about it is we still warming up as a team. You know, defense is firing, offense is working, and they, you know they firing. You know, they getting they, they getting that groove going, and we just trying to Make sure we can get the ball back in 12 and hand. We, and we have a legendary run, quarterback. Yeah, legendary quarterback. Let him run the score up and we can have fun in return. Yeah. Is there, is there, you mentioned someone questioning your leadership. And yeah. He even dedicated a sack celebration. Mm -hmm. to that. Did you think you needed to prove anything today or did you prove something today? Should I ask you want me to answer that one? <laughs> <laughs> man, yeah, every time we touch the field, man, you got to you gotta silence the naysayers. But we know, at the, we know at the end of the day what we're capable of. We're capable of, of being a great defense. We, uh, of course, y'all see flashes, but we got to make sure we're being, we're being consistent with it. So, you know, you know, at the, end of the, at the end of the day, you know, we was disrespected by yeah. somebody saying there was no leadership up front. Yeah. And we're not going to say the name make more famous, yeah. but... It's no. cool. You know what? I'm going I'm to hit on that. Yeah. Just to have that comment come in, you know, what we did. I told the guys, I said, it's more than, than being a leader on this defense. You know, we all going to have to be leaders at some point. And, and to be able to do that, man, we, we focused on that the whole week. We actually printed out some papers yeah. and put them in a defensive room. So to have that motivation, man, it, it all worked out for us. And we're four and one. Four and one. Four and one. How do you guys find such a beautiful balance between your brotherhood on and off the field? Uh, man, we knew each other before we got here, so we right. was already cool. So uh, us being on the same team was just ecstatic. For, it was just you know exciting for both of us. Exactly. So now uh, we get a chance to play with each other after being an hour and a half from each other down the road from him being in Baltimore, me in Washington. Uh, man, we now we're on the same team. We always kept in contact with each other since college and you know throughout the whole NFL draft process, free agency process. Us playing each other team, we was already comfortable with each other, man. We were just ready to play with each other and call me like, I love it, man. Yeah.